Hi everyone, welcome to Yoga with Haini. I'm Haini, and this week I'm gonna lead you through a morning yoga practice for slow mornings or those sticky mornings when you feel that it's just a bit difficult to get going. So let's do a bit of yoga together. Let's get started. For this morning practice, you don't necessarily need any props, but if you like sitting on a cushion or a blanket, then you could have something something to, ha to have it under your pelvis, like a little prop that helps you to sit. But other than that, we don't need props this morning. So just find an easy seat. Um, I'm suggesting a cross-legged seat, but if that's not comfortable, then Find a different kind of seat. Where do you feel you could let your hips rest? Where do you feel your back could kind of get into an upright pose? I know it can be a bit tricky in the morning, but let's try to find as easy seat as possible. And then just take a few deep breaths in and out. You could close your eyes. And see where those breaths easily find their way to. Is there space in the chest? Is there space a bit lower down in the ribs? Is there space on the back side of the body? Maybe there's space all the way down in the belly area. Take another breath or two in and out. And if you want to keep eyes closed, you might keep eyes closed. You might open your eyes, especially if that helps you to wake up. And then from this seat, we continue into some cat-cow movements. So support your hands onto your legs. If you're sitting cross-legged, you could support hands onto your knees. And next in-breath, open your chest. So seated cat-cows. And as you exhale, just slightly round your back. Let your chest close in. Gentle, small movement. Again, inhale, open the chest. And exhale, round the back. Let the chest close in. You could hang from the knees with your hands. Couple more times. Inhalations, open the chest. And exhalations, round the spine. Allow this to be gentle, small movement. Once more, the in-breath, opening the chest. And the exhalation, rounding the spine, closing the chest. And then come back to a somewhat neutral spine. And then you can either come into a cross-legged seat or if you want a bit bigger stretch, Extend your left leg out to the side and leave your right foot in front of you. We're going to do a side bend. Slowly slide your left hand out to the left side of the mat. Inhale, open the chest and see if you can float the right arm up. And then exhale, slide into a gentle small side bend. Breathe towards the right side, ribs. If keeping the right arm up is just a bit uncomfortable now, you could always bring the right arm back down, maybe behind the back. Another breath in and out. Let your head, your neck move into that side bend. And then as you inhale, slowly reach yourself back up. And we're gonna release the right arm down and either cross-legged pose, just change legs the other way around, or 
extend your right leg out to the side, leave your left leg in front of you, side bend to the other side. Now walk or slide your right hand out to the right side and then inhale, open the chest and maybe float the left arm up. We're going to exhale, bend towards the right side. So now we're opening the left side of the body. Let's send a couple of breaths towards the ribs on the left side. Again, you have an option to bring the left arm back down. And just breathe here. One more breath in and out. And then slowly, slowly inhale, bring yourself back up and release that left hand down and bring yourself up onto all fours, onto hands and knees. We're going to do what we call the disco cat. So on all fours, first move your ribs to the right side then towards the mat, opening the chest. Move your ribs to the left. And finally, round your back. Move your rib cage up to the ceiling. And continue this movement. So circling the rib cage from right to left, up and down. And allow your head to follow. Allow your pelvis to follow. And your disco cat can dance in its own way. What feels good this morning? Again, gentle, small movements. Let's change the direction. Keep breathing in and out. Let the breath help you open through the ribs, open through the spine, through the shoulders and neck. Gently, slowly bringing movement to the whole body. Let's do one more disco cat circle. Breathe in and out. And then bring the spine back to the center and lean your pelvis back towards the feet into child's pose. Lean your head down either all the way down to the mat or if you want you could bring your hands under the head. That is an option. Feel free to listen to your shoulders and if the shoulders are really tight this morning you could bring arms also down next to the legs if that feels better. Take another breath in and out. And then from child's pose, bring yourself back onto all fours. And we're going to come into a side bending, melting heart pose. So first, we're going to walk the hands a bit further forward, keeping our hips about on top of the knees. And then slowly walk hands towards the right corner, right top corner of the mat. And as you exhale, bring your right elbow to the mat. But keep reaching the left arm forward and slowly, slowly release the chest down, release head down towards the mat. So we are trying to melt the chest, the heart down to the mat. But at the same time, reaching that left arm out, looking for some opening along the left side body, maybe the armpit area. Take another breath in and out. And then slowly release that left arm. You can bring the left elbow to the mat. And just lift your head, chest off the mat. And we're going to walk to the other side. We're going to walk hands towards the left top corner of the mat. And now we're going to keep the right arm extended. 
and exhale, bring left elbow to the mat. You might open the elbow a bit out to the side. Exhale, start to melt your chest and hit down towards the mat. We keep reaching gently out through that right arm. Imagine you're breathing into your right armpit, opening that right side body, right shoulder area. Take another couple of breaths in and out. And then slowly release the right arm, bring the elbow to the mat. Lift yourself onto hands and knees and walk your hands under your shoulders. Now from all fours, step your right foot to the outside of your right hand. So keeping the right foot close to the side of the mat. Maybe even rotating the right hip and foot open more. We're going to lower the pelvis down and forward, coming into this open lizard gecko lunge. So allowing the right hip to open, keeping the left leg behind us as our gecko tail. And just a couple of breaths. Could be a big, big opening around the pelvic area. So keep it gentle. And then next in breath, send your pelvis back. And now start to extend that right leg, but still keeping the right leg out on the side. So both hands are on the inside of that right leg. We arrive into kind of open half splits. So we are now bending down forward, looking for an opening at the back maybe inside of that right leg. Don't push too far. You could keep the right knee slightly bent. See if you could release the neck, the head, just a bit further down. In the mornings, the backside can feel really, really stiff. So this could be a humongous stretch. Take another breath in and out. And then slowly lift your back up, bring hands under the shoulders. And we're going to bring that right knee back to the mat. And just rock a bit from side to side. And then we'll go and see how the body feels in the lizard on the other side. So now step the left foot to the outside of the left hand. And maybe all the way to the edge of your mat on the left side. You could even rotate the left hip and foot more open. Maybe step hands tiny bit further forward and then start to release the pelvis a bit lower down, opening the chest and breathing here. You don't have to look forward. You might be happily looking down to the mat or even hang the head down. Where could you keep your shoulders, your neck soft? Send another breath down towards the pelvis. And then with an in-breath, start to lift the pelvis up and send the pelvis further back. Now extending more that left leg, but still keeping the left leg out on the side of the mat. You might slide the heel a bit further forward. Both hands on the inside of that left leg. Inhale. And as you exhale, see if you could lean just a bit further down and forward. Or maybe it's just bringing head a bit lower down. Again, often just nodding the head down can create quite a big stretch along the whole backside in the mornings. Breathe in and out again. No need to fully straighten the left leg. Keeping it bent might give plenty, plenty enough of stretching sensation. Just getting rid of some stickiness, 
tension in the body. Take another breath in and out. And then slowly open the chest away from the mat. Bring hands under your shoulders. Bring both knees to the mat. And again, just a few times rock from side to side. Shoulders move a bit. And then we are going to come down, lying on the back. So shift yourself into a seat and then come lying down. And from lying down, bring knees towards the chest and then exhale, lower the knees to the right side of the mat into a reclining twist leaving the chest open up towards the ceiling. Right hand could rest on the left knee or thigh. Left arm could open out to the left side. And breathe towards the chest, breathe down towards the belly. Another two breaths in and out here. Slowly, slowly, bring yourself back onto your back. Bring knees back close to the chest. And then slowly lower the legs to the left side of the mat. Still leaving the chest open. You could open the right arm out to the side. It could be a big opening around the shoulders. Left hand could rest on your right knee or thigh. And focus on just a bit deeper breaths. Allow those breaths to open around the ribs and release around the shoulders. Take another breath in and out. And slowly, slowly again, roll back onto your back. Bring knees once more to the chest, to the belly. And now bring arms somewhere on the floor next to you. Lift your feet up into the air and start to shake your feet. A bit like kicking the air, kicking your feet up in the air. Just getting a bit of movement in the ankles, in the feet. You might feel your calves shaking. You can just kick, 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 shake, shake, shake a bit, waking up through the feet, through the legs. Bring a bit of energy to the legs. Take a couple more breaths here, shaking, shaking the legs. Good, and then calm down that movement. Hug the knees in, and now start to rock yourself forward and back a few times and bring yourself all the way up into a seat and we're going to end our practice in a seat this morning we're not going to go back to sleep but hopefully feeling a bit more awake take a few more breaths in and out in your seat And then as you inhale, reach your arms up towards the ceiling. Bring palms together. Exhale, lower the hands down in front of the chest. Now thank yourself for waking up, for bringing yourself into the practice in the morning. Well done. And I thank you very much for joining in for sharing the practice. Namaste. Thank you. Good. I do hope you feel better now and more awake now. Thank you very much for joining in. And if you 
Do you feel better? If you did like the video, please give the video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below how you feel after the practice. I wish you a wonderful day and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!